Have you seen that? Oh my goodness. It is our work's Christmas lunch today. It's minus two degrees, but feels like minus eight. Hey y'all. There were no trains operating on Tuesday, Wednesday, then Friday, Saturday. I don't want to risk being stranded in London for Christmas and not with my family. <laughs> Good morning everybody and welcome back to my channel. It's a Monday morning and you might be wondering why I'm still sat in my dressing gown with my hood up or maybe you're not because I do start many vlogs in my dressing gown with my hood up but it is freezing cold in London and that's because we had snowfall last night. Like we are all so excited in my house right now and we all keep spamming each other messages in our WhatsApp group chat of the snow from our different views of the house. Um, and from our windows and my housemate went on a walk this morning and sent us a picture of this ginormous snowman that someone's built in the street. I've been sending pictures to my parents, all my friends up in the north have been like, I didn't know you got weather like that down south, which we don't normally, we never get snow down here. And all my time I've lived down south since moving out of the north, it's always been that they get the snow first and I'm like, oh I'm jealous, can't wait to go home and see the snow because we just don't get it here. But it is heavy, like it snowed all night. The snow is deep. If I swivel around this way, like I was gonna vlog this way this morning, but I look so blue because of the tinge that's coming from the snow outside. Um, I'll turn you around in a sec and I'll show you because I am just so excited about it. Would you look at that? Like, it's crazy, it's so deep. This kind of gives you a sense of the depth of the snow. Um, because you can actually see on our on this little like rooftop just how thick it is. It's just insane. London's never had snow like this before. But I'm not complaining because it's making me feel really Christmassy. Now this is another view from my kitchen. Let me just show you what it looks like in the neighbours' gardens. Have you seen that? Oh my goodness. I know I shouldn't be this excited about snow as a grown woman, but it gets you every year, every single time. I don't think you will ever stop being excited about snow, no matter how old you get, because it just looks so pretty right now, doesn't it? I've been meaning to show you all this postcard or Christmas card that I got sent from my friend in Germany. I didn't realise the little doors opened and when I messaged her to say thank you for the card, she said that they're actual advent doors because I didn't have an advent calendar this year because I now live here uh, in London and my mum would have always bought me an advent calendar if I was still at home. Um, so I don't really buy them for myself and I haven't for the last few years. So she sent me this and I've discovered, yeah, the little doors open. How cute is that? So this has a little owl behind it. This one has birds. There's a little cat on the rooftop. We have, oh, a stocking behind the door. I just think this is such a sweet tradition and she said she collected them as a kid. So I would love to see what these look like. And let me know if you have any traditions like this in your country because I love hearing about the different Christmas traditions from all across the world. Um, but this is a really cute one and maybe it's one I should get into. Oh my goodness, it's starting to snow again. It's very, very light so you probably can't even see it. Maybe if I zoom in. It's easy to see at night, weirdly enough, when the, um, when the street lights are on, you can see the snow against the light. But you can't really tell, but it's very, very faint. It's just so magical. I love it. I'm so excited for Christmas. You might also think my bedroom looks a mess right now, but I didn't make my bed because I kind of figured I'd be so cold I might get back in again. It looks super messy. It's not very in character of me to just leave it like this. It just looks so warm and snug and I want to climb in and I've been having these fairy lights on um, because it's been getting so dark and it just looks so cosy and cute and inviting. I'm very ready for work to be over so I can climb straight in there. I have also got myself a hot water bottle and a hot juice. A lot of people tell me I'm really weird. Oh, sorry, my laptop's going off because I'm meant to be in a meeting right now. Um, a lot of people tell me I'm really weird when I say I like to drink a hot juice. Somebody introduced me to the concept at work and I doubted it first as well, but highly recommend if you're sick of drinking tea and coffee in winter. There's just something so warming and cozy about a hot juice. This is, or, or squash, whatever you call it. 
Um, this is orange and mango and it's definitely keeping me warm and it's going to see me through this hour and a half meeting that I've got to join now. Good morning, good morning. I've just realised this vlog is going to seem completely all over the place. I'm pretty much vlogging my run up to Christmas or run up to going home back up north uh, to Newcastle and I'm kind of just filming as and when I feel like, when I'm doing festive things and yeah we've kind of just jumped to the next day and I didn't really finish yesterday's day off because I didn't really do much. I was working from home and we were snowed in and I shared that with you and that's kind of it. Um, but I'm into the office today. I mean, touch word, I'm hoping to get to the office today. There are train strikes, so it's going to be an absolute nightmare, coupled with the snow and the ice. Um, but it is our work's Christmas lunch today, and we've all booked to go to Pizza Express. Yes, very Christmassy, I know. But that was the only kind of venue that would fit a team of, I think there's about 50 of us going or something. So I do have my Christmas jumper on, and I wanted to show you all. It's got these cute little red pom-poms. It is the only Christmas jumper I own, so I feel like... I am definitely in need of a new one. But this one is really cute. It's got little sparkles in it. I've curled my hair. I feel like I'm ready for like a school Christmas disco or something, like back in primary school. But yeah, feeling festive, ready to get my Christmas dinner. I go home on Thursday, so two more days to go after this. And I'm feeling really ready to be home, to be honest. Ready to be around my family and comfortable in my nice, warm, cosy home. Eating lots of good Christmas food and celebrating with my family, which, yeah, I haven't been home since February, so I'm desperate to get back. Anyway, I'm going to crack on. I'm going to eat my breakfast because it's now quarter past seven in the morning and I need to leave the house soon to try and attempt to make a train. Wish me luck. <laughs> right now and I'm really scared of slipping but it doesn't feel that slippy it's just quite icy or like snowy looking ice but not like slippy ice if you get what I mean not like black ice um it's really quiet I seriously think I'm the only idiot that's decided to commute to work today I've barely seen anyone this morning I also thought I'd left myself with plenty of time to get to the train station because I was off so early this morning but I was wrong and now I'm rushing, but I can't rush because I'm scared of slipping. So I'll fingers crossed I make like the one train that actually happens to be running this morning despite the strikes. good spirits it's just so good being around people like I forget how much my spirits get lifted by going into the office like you always think when you're waking up at like 6 a.m oh I can't be bothered it's cold outside it's snowed I can't be bothered to go out and I can't be bothered to sit in the office and it's going to drain all my energy trying to socialize and be upbeat and positive when I'm just tired and kind of want to crawl straight back into bed but it's just such a mood booster. It does help when you've got a Pizza Express lunch booked and you're all eating pizza and drinking wine, having good fun, I guess. But it's just lovely being around people. My team are the nicest bunch of people ever. And yeah, it's just put me in such good spirits. I'm, again, really ready for Christmas, really ready to go home. But I think I've been on a bit of a lull 
for a little while like feeling quite down with the dark weather and the coldness and feeling a bit lonely missing my family because it's been so long since I've seen them and for some reason today my spirits are just super high and it's actually really great to feel like this and I helped someone at the train station which gave me a real big buzz she was trying to carry a buggy up and down the stairs and there was no lift so I offered to help and she was really really grateful and it just put me in such a good mood like helping people also makes you feel really good I mean I did kind of help my hand trying to carry the buggy I'm not the strongest person in the world but knowing that I've probably helped her and made her day made my day as well and yeah just again chatting with everyone it's just such a good day Christmas spirits and all I'm gonna log back on for the last I think hour hour and a half of the day and then snuggle up in bed for the night and maybe read a good book I was also reading a good book on the train this morning so I think that's put me in a good mood as well very good one for Christmas kind of fairy tale-esque so this weather kind of brings it to life a bit so yeah in good spirits oh my goodness it is absolutely freezing today I woke up at about six o'clock in the morning I'm quite an early riser but woke up at six o'clock and it's the first morning I've woken up and actually felt really cold in my bed bearing in mind I'm sleeping with a heavy winter duvet on I've got like a throw across my bed I've got a giant fluffy yellow blanket and I was sleeping with my dressing gown on top of me and I went to sleep with a hot water bottle yeah I woke up and it was just so cold and I was really struggling to get back to sleep and I didn't want to get out of bed I was kind of curling into a tiny little ball to try and conserve as much heat as I possibly could and when I checked my weather app this morning it said it's minus two degrees but feels like minus eight minus eight that's crazy and if it's this cold here I can only wonder how cold it is up north where I'm traveling back home tomorrow like it's a hell of a lot colder up north in the in the UK so I'm not looking forward to seeing what the weather's like up there though I don't think they had a snow as bad as we did so maybe that's still to come as well we'll see <laughs> It is now only 10 days till Christmas. I literally travel home tonight as soon as work is finished. I think my train is at 5.30 p.m. and I arrive at about 8.40 p.m. So a little bit late, but not too bad. I picked to travel on Thursday today because I figured, all fingers crossed, I was hoping this would be the quieter day because in the UK right now, there are a lot of train strikes on. So there were no trains operating on Tuesday, Wednesday, then Friday, Saturday. And then I figured Sunday might be the day that everybody goes for because it's a weekend and no one's at work and you can travel any time of the day and it's the first kind of non-disrupted, non-weekday. So I thought maybe avoid that one. I've gone for Thursday because I'm hoping it'll be quieter tonight and also if there are still disruptions with the trains it means I can maybe try again at the weekend or try again next week if I don't manage to make it home touch wood that that does not happen but I'm giving myself as much time as I can to try and give it a good go at getting back up north for Christmas and I didn't want to leave it too late because next week is literally the last week until Christmas like can you believe it I this month has flown by but yeah giving myself as much time as possible because I don't want to risk being stranded in London for Christmas and not with my family. But that's where I'm at. I'm just at work right now. I actually didn't end up vlogging much yesterday because it was a really, really boring day and I did absolutely nothing. It didn't leave the house. Sat at my laptop all day. So I figured there's no point in even trying to pull some content together because there is nothing to show you. But today I am travelling. I can show you my suitcase that's all packed. Oh, it looks lovely and sunny in the background. Yeah, we do still have snow outside actually. So busy day at work ahead, then I can clock off and head to King's Cross and catch my three and a bit hour train. As you can see, despite the ridiculously bright sun that is blinding me as I vlog right now, we still do have leftover snow from when it snowed the other week, but it is definitely melting very quickly in this heat. And if we just come over here, this is the suitcase I'm taking home. I've been very careful about what I pack this time round because I have a feeling I'm going to have a lot to bring back with me after Christmas. It does look very full, but I promise that actually isn't a whole lot in there. Like, I have one, two, three pairs of jeans, oh, four pairs of jeans. Then there's my personal laptop, which is making it quite bulky. And then, really, all I've got is, like... My toiletry bag's there, I have a dress for New Year's Eve, which I'm hoping I get to wear. And then I've only packed three jumpers. And then, oh, teddy bear comes everywhere with me, that will be coming home. And then I've even pulled out some bulkier clothes here, like my bulky jeans, bulky um, jacket, and very chunky jumper. So I've tried to keep everything I've packed in here to a minimal, yet it looks super full. I'm like, how have two pairs of shoes, four pairs of jeans, and literally like 
two jumpers, two pairs of pajamas filled it up that much because I do still have some stuff at home. But it's just, it's so ridiculously chunky. I have no idea how, but I don't think I'll have an issue closing it. I think the real issue is going to be when I get stuff at Christmas, like new clothes and things. And I have to try and put it all in there. It's now lunchtime. I'm going to pop out on a little walk while the weather's nice. And I was going to grab some food that I can eat on the train as dinner because it's a later flight and I didn't, later flight, later train. And I didn't want to risk being pushed for time by the time I get to King's Cross and I'll have a big heavy suitcase. So I didn't want to think, you know, I'll leave it and I'll stand in a queue and it'll be fine. And then they call my train and I have made it to the front of the queue and I'm running and it's heavy. And yeah, I was just like, that is a nightmare to me. I'd rather go out, buy some food, have it in my bag for the train, be prepared just in case anything could go wrong. In case my bus is delayed, in case there's traffic, in case there's queues, just I'd rather have that food and just have peace of mind. So I'm going to go out. It means I can see my little town one last time before I go home and then I guess the next time I see it will be the new year, which is kind of crazy to think. But yes, I'm going to go get some food, maybe browse the local bakery and see if there's anything I can also grab to bring home with me and then finish off my day at work and then it'll be time to hop on the train and go home. <laughs> definitely deceptive it's absolutely freezing i can't feel my fingers right now i am definitely regretting not bringing a hat or gloves i thought it was going to be a lot warmer oh this ice is quite slippy as well oh this is not not good not good i don't want to slip and fall with a camera in my hands because i have no hands to brace myself with and i'm filming at this really weird low down angle because i'm embarrassed in case anyone comes around the corner and sees me vlogging and wonders what i'm doing so enjoy this really not so flattering angle of my face Well, my camera's died, so I've had to switch to my phone. So sorry if the quality isn't so great. Hang on, let me take my jacket off. Oh, I'm all over the place. I have just made beans on toast for lunch. I don't know what it is about cold weather, but I love beans on toast when it's cold. And this is just what I need, I think, to warm me up. And I did put some shiracha in my beans. I don't know if that's really weird or controversial, but I like a bit of spice. As I said, the sun, very deceptive. It's freezing cold outside, like really, really cold. I couldn't feel my fingers or my toes. I regretted not bringing a hat and a scarf. Super slippy. I, it was fresh. I was enjoying the walk. I was enjoying the sun. When the sun's on you, it's really warm. But I couldn't be out there all day. I'm gonna eat my lunch. I also popped into the local bakery again because I was really after this rum truffle that you guys might have seen on my other vlog. But I figured they're not going to have this in the new year because we're coming out of Christmas and this is obviously a Christmas snack, so a Christmas dessert. So I was like, I'm not going to have a chance to get that when I come back and I really want another one before I go. So I popped in, managed to pick one up, only £2.20, which I don't think is that bad, it's huge. I might have half of that now after my lunch and maybe save some for the train. I dropped the rum truffle on the way home from the store and it's cracked, you... <clears throat> You can't really see that in the light, but there, look, how devastating. I'm sure it'll taste just as good, but that is a very damaged Christmas pudding. I have 30 more minutes left of my work day and then I can grab my suitcase, carry it down the stairs, stumble down the stairs with it because it's so darn heavy, and then begin my hike through the snow to the bus stop to get to King's Cross and make my journey home. I am literally so excited. It doesn't even feel real. I've been counting down the days, the hours, the minutes, the seconds, 
all week because I just can't wait to be with my family and see my hometown again. It's been so, so long. It feels weird looking at my bedroom now and like thinking, wow, the next time I'll be here is in the new year. But yeah, very, very ready for home. finally home I did plan on vlogging the journey back but unfortunately disaster struck and there was a bit of a stress basically my bus just didn't turn up um, I was planning on getting a direct bus to King's Cross to avoid having to go via the tube station because it has no lifts and I wouldn't be able to carry my suitcase up and down the stairs because it's so heavy and when I got to the bus stop the bus just never came and I'm sure I was on time. I think I was even early. So I don't know if the bus turned up earlier than that and just left or just didn't turn up. And then I waited for the next one and that didn't turn up either. So I ended up having to walk to a different bus stop, catching the bus to the tube station. And luckily for me, the nicest stranger ever saw me struggling with my suitcase, trying to pull it down the stairs. And she helped me by grabbing the other end. So big thank you to her i hope she has the best christmas ever she deserves it for seeing me struggling and offering to help um and then it was a smooth journey from there and i made it to king's cross all right luckily for me i left myself an hour even though the journey should have only taken half an hour so when the bus didn't show i still had plenty of time to make it so i wouldn't miss my train and king's cross was very very quiet so when i got there I found out that no trains were running to Scotland anymore they were all terminating at Newcastle which luckily for me is my stop but um for anyone who was going to Scotland they couldn't make their journeys so it did mean that it was a quiet journey for me the train was very quiet and not very busy everyone had a seat and it wasn't overcrowded um and then I did hear afterwards that I got on the last train that was going to Newcastle apparently and after that all trains were terminating at York instead so very very lucky I could have very nearly been on the next train and not been able to make it home so it feels like the odds were in my favour and I've made it back um, and I'm just gonna wind down now it's nearly like 10pm or something um, so I'm gonna go catch up with my family um, and wind down, wash my face, brush my teeth, get into bed. Um, I'm very ready for bed now and I've still got work in the morning so I don't want to stay up too late but obviously I'm very like excitable and energetic because I'm finally back after nearly a year of not being home. Um, I do want to show you the Christmas decorations, you can kind of see them behind me but I do want to show you them in the morning with the lights on um, and give you a bit of a tour. Um, so I must remember to do that but yeah for now I'm gonna head to bed and be very very thankful that I made it home for Christmas. I hope this isn't too dark to see but this is the wreath uh, along the TV stand and this is the Christmas tree which I'll show you when it's a bit brighter as well but I did want to show you it in the morning when it's still dark with the lights on. It has like a blue and white theme if any of you remember from last year. Very pretty with these very cute and sparkly. Um, ornaments um, but my camera just doesn't seem to be picking that up all too well in this light we do have some other smaller decorations around the house like this and some reindeer outside if you can see those it's quite difficult with the um, with the blinds but maybe I'll give you a proper look later on and just coming in here we've got our countdown to Christmas on with the correct date and this little deer ornament with <laughs> which my mum has decorated <laughs> with Christmas decorations again the lighting isn't so great but you can kind of make that out and this is our second Christmas tree in the dining room my mum has bought this I think you call it a, a poinsettia Poin poinsettia poinsettia I think is what it's called um plant and put it on my windowsill which is just so pretty it brightens up the room and very very Christmassy. We got one last Christmas and it actually lasted for months afterwards so they're meant to die pretty soon after Christmas but it looks very very cute on my windowsill. My mum has also bought all of the festive treats in for Christmas so I've gone for this cherry and almond Tesco finest Stollen. I love Stollen so I'm very excited to try it and picked up some of the extra almond bits and I also mm. have it with a cup of tea. This is my little 
um, what time is it now? 11.30, so mid, mid morning, nearly lunchtime coffee break, just to get me through a little bit more of the morning until lunchtime. And that's it, my work day is done. I'm feeling mildly sick at the moment because I decided to scoff some cheese and crackers for my lunch, classic Christmas food. But I'm mostly plant-based or kind of vegetarian plant-based when I'm not living at home. Well, definitely vegetarian, but try not to buy dairy. So I do drink alternative milks and I don't really buy a lot of cheese when I'm living in London, but I do like cheese and I still enjoy it from time to time. And it is one of those Christmas festive treats that I like to have around this time of the year so I did have uh yeah cheese and crackers for my lunch and kind of overindulged a bit um didn't capture any of it on vlog footage but the truffle cheese was really good I like the cranberry one and cheese onion and chive that was the other one that really stood out for me we also had red pepper which was nice and the fiery one which I mean is standard I always love spicy but um yeah, now I'm feeling a bit sick because my tummy is not used to cheese. So I think I am going to go run myself a bath and close this vlog out here. And actually just enjoy being around my family because I've been pretty rubbish at picking up the camera and actually showing you what I'm up to. So maybe I'll start again this weekend and in the final week counting down to Christmas and you might actually get some better footage of me at home and what I get up to. But this was just kind of a really chill week in my life, a really bitty week in my life. Probably not the most interesting, but I hope you've enjoyed at least the cosy vibes and the festive vibes as we count down to Christmas together. And I'll see you in the next vlog. Thanks for watching, everybody. Bye.